This is Nick Perenni with Think Computers, and I'm at the Digital Experience, and I'm with um, David with NVIDIA, and they're going to show us what they're doing for 2013 in car audio. Yeah. Well, thanks. Uh, thanks for taking the time today to talk, guys. I'm Dave Anderson. I'm an automotive solutions architect at NVIDIA, so I get to look after all these nice automotive applications that we have. And uh, today we're going to show you two examples, two reference designs for basically a digital cluster example and an in-vehicle infotainment platform. So we'll start you with the digital cluster over here. And uh, what I'd like to show you first uh, basically is the overall construction uh, of what basically you could have you know, with a digital gauge set. So this would replace the traditional analog gauges that you have in your vehicle. The neat part about it is that it's fully uh, customizable. So the look and feel of this can be defined by the OEM and maybe in the future even defined by, by us as, as users of the vehicle. So think of those as being widgets that eventually could be modified. The other cool thing about this is that this has got sub-presentations in it that allow you to have things like cover flow for multimedia, maybe a contact list you know, for managing people, um, your contacts in your phone that's connected, of course, by Bluetooth, um, and a way to integrate uh, navigation uh, data that might be coming from another place in the vehicle or it might be rendered by the cluster. Um, this is actually a Google Assets database, so it's something that is not a video. It's actually being rendered real time, all at 60 seconds, uh, or I'm sorry, 60 frames a second or better. Um, we can actually change perspective and give you different looks and feel, you know, depending upon what type of uh, you know presentation you want to have. And then we we've also got a nice three-dimensional car example here. Um, this model will essentially allow you to have, you know, a, a very visual representation of what might be going on on the vehicle. You know, like maybe a door is ajar or you have a problem with the wheel or something like that. But the really beautiful thing is when we started here at the beginning, we can reskin this to have any number of different look and feels. So here's another way to show that just with a different graphical concept. And this, as I said before, is a reference design. So it's something that we provide to our, our OEM. Um, and OEM partners um, to allow them to begin early design work, to show the art of what's possible, and overall, you know, kind of get used to, to working with the technology. Um, if we take a step over here, this is uh, our in-vehicle infotainment platform. And this is actually running Windows RT, and we've built a, a really nice, you know, three-dimensional uh, look and feel for eventually what your navigation system could look like in the future. And so this has all the controls that you would come to expect in your vehicle. So if I scroll back here at the beginning, we can actually look at something that's maybe you know very vehicle specific, and that's climate controls. So we've got a nice animation that you know shows you really what 3D performance is is capable of. Um, but what the reason why 3D is so important for a vehicle is that we want to make this look more and more realistic, so that it it emulates the material properties of what's in your vehicle today. So you get this really really high quality look and feel overall. And then also it makes it easier for us to understand as drivers. So there's you know less distraction overall. So all the climate controls just work. So this would control the fan. We've actually fully integrated this into a production vehicle where we can show this actually running a, a, a production vehicle. So maybe you need to control some climate controlled seats, temperatures for both your driver and your passenger. And then we've, of course, got the multimedia type of interfaces that you'd like to have. So things for managing MP3s or other audio files that maybe you have stored locally in the system or might be coming in from a remote device, either on your phone or like a tablet or something like that. Ways to ma manage, basically, um, artists and song types, volume controls. And then maybe a way to basically do, do phone dialing. This could be a, a Bluetooth uh, enabled phone, or we even actually have a, a phone technology, a modem technology that we're working on as well. We're actually integrating the modem uh, into our Tegra Silicon. Um, so this would provide you with a, a 4G data connection whenever you need it. And then maybe the last thing we'll show you here is three-dimensional navigation. Again. Google Assets database, all being rendered at 60 frames a second or better. And then, just to show you, you know, this is the actual overall user interface, but the underlying system, as I said, is, is actually Windows RT, so we can toggle out. And depending upon your desired you know, user experience, you could still use the Metro framework you know, for your applications and vehicle as an idea. Now, all this technology that we've spoken about today um, is powered by our, our Tegra 3 processor. 
Um, this is our automotive module. So we call this the visual computing module. It's a system, basically a system on a module, if you will. And uh, it's got all the dynamic memory, all the non-volatile memory, and the power supplies that are necessary to, to operate the, the Taker 3 device. And just to give you an idea visually, this is the little piece of silicon that's behind everything that you've seen today, too. About the size of your thumbnail. Pretty impressive stuff. Well, that's definitely um, some impressive products here from NVIDIA. Uh, do you guys have any interest uh, from any particular car manufacturer that you would be allowed to discuss? Uh, sure. We have, we have several production opportunities ongoing today. Um, most notably is our work with Audi um, and also our work with BMW. In North America, we're part of the, the Tesla Model S. Um, so if you've seen that vehicle, that actually has two Tager processors in it, one in a digital cluster and one actually in the 17-inch uh, display, centrally integrated display. All right. Well, this is Nick Prenny with Think Computers and um, with David for NVIDIA with um, their new automotive potential products. Uh, signing off, guys. Thank you.